So here we have the Hisense U8H series, 75 inch. This is a new model, the 2022. It is Google TV, mini LED. It's got Netflix, YouTube, Prime Video, Disney Plus, HBO. It's 4K, comes with two year warranty. They are the sponsors for the World Cup in Qatar 2022. You have, again, mini LED, Quantum Dot, Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos and game mode. If you look at some of the other things up here, stating that it has next gen TV and IMAX Enhanced, Dolby Vision IQ, Dolby Vision Atmos, DTS HD, and M480 motion rate. Now, we're gonna go ahead and set this up. The big thing that I wanted is the Google TV feature. This is why I went with this one over the TCL, as well as the other things that they talked about. Now we're gonna have to unbox this and set it up and take a look at it, how it compares with the PlayStation 5. And here we have the tape. They do put uh, a lot of protection on the TV, on the side. And they do put a lot of protection on the TV. So here we have the Hisense U8H. This is the 2022 release of the Hisense higher tier television. Now this is mini LED, gets about 1500 nits of brightness and has HDR as well as many other things, uh, QLED and so on. Now when it comes to settings, there's plenty of settings, especially if you are a gamer. Now, if we go to settings here and we look at the screen and video, we can see that the output resolution, you have multiple choices. Now, when I click on video output, you can see that this is uh, 3840 by 2160, as well as VRR, which has a variable refresh rate. We go further down, VRR on the PlayStation 5 now supports up to 120 hertz from 48 to 120 and HDR is supported as well. And you see frequencies uh, 24 all the way to 120 as again for non-HDR it's 24 all the way through 120. Now when you do set this television up you might not have all of these options right away and you do have to play with some of the settings so what you want to do is when you get the tv and you connect it to the playstation 5 you want to make sure that you're on the hdmi 2.1 port as well as using an hdmi 2.1 cable then you'll go ahead and click the menu button and you will go to hdmr hdmi format when you click on hdmi format you want to click enhanced format because if you are on standard format, it will not give you VRR or the 120 hertz refresh rate. You'll go and get some minimal options and you won't be able to set it up. Now, the other things that you can do is you can go to picture and you can change to uh, the picture modes to something different. You have a lot of different options and find something that fits your needs. Now, I have it currently at HDR game and then when you go back, you have other options as well under advanced, which kind of you can change in here to see what fits your needs. With the advanced settings, depending on what you're using for the uh, picture settings, you might be able to change the motion in hand. Uh, motion clearness, noise reduction, digital noise reduction. So far, I haven't had to mess with any of those, but some of those options are enabled. You can even enable FreeSync, which I have not played with, but let's go ahead and test it out and see what happens when you do enable that. Just to verify if we get any changes on the PlayStation side go back to the menu and we are still 
48 to 120 and 120 hertz frequencies VR is still enabled and with the new PlayStation update you can have VR and you can even do at 1440p output so if you have a monitor that's 1440p you can do variable refresh rate we have this setup it's automatic and there you go so overall so far the TV for the PlayStation works great and I haven't had any issues now let's go ahead and go to a game and here we have the FIFA 23 and we can go ahead and test it out just to see if there is anything noticeable between the quality that we're playing with now this is a online match so some of the things could be related to the internet connection that you have but just playing on it for the time being i do notice the hdr works pretty well as well as the colors and the motion i haven't had any issues and it didn't take long to get the tv set up to get it to work properly if you guys like these videos hit the like and subscribe button and thank you for watching please let me know in the comments anything else that you want to see about this tv or if you want to see anything else with the playstation 5 i will be making more content with this tv as i'm still testing it out but being that it's a google tv that's one of the reasons why i purchased it over to tcl and so far it's holding up really well it's a great quality tv great quality stand and they are a little bit hard to get on amazon but that's the place that i purchased that and i would recommend getting it from amazon as well you do get a two-year warranty as well as after 90 days or 100 days you do qualify for another hundred dollars back so hope you guys enjoyed the video again hit the like and subscribe button and let me know what you want to see in the con comments um, down below thank you for watching